Once again, the weatherman uh, got it wrong today. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be overcast with rain. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. What I'd like you guys to do is uh, two things. Uh, number one, click up here in the upper right hand corner. This is a vlog by Casey Neistat. And the reason why I put this up there is because it somehow ties into my blog. So I'm gonna talk about uh, uh, topic wise later on as uh, these episode this episode uh, wears on but it's about uh, Casey's experiences of uh, doing a talk and doing something with the media over in a city in Finland and uh, one of the things he talks about in there is this 1,000 foot the swimming pool that is on the roof and it looks over 1,000 feet in the air and it has uh, a glass bottom and then this video is just shot really really well it has a great footage with drone work and he just does a lot of other really cool special effects by making the way or by making food appear on a table at a cafe or a coffee shop over in Europe and I think it was very very well done and the way that he talks about why he bought that food um, and a second thing I'd like you guys to do is check out my written blogs on wordpress.com. These are on hello world 240.wordpress.com. That's hello world 240.wordpress.com. And uh, I'd like to get into these. Morning. I'd like to um, get more involved with those as well because uh, A, I'm a researcher or I'm going to be a researcher in the um, autism world and then I'm a leader. Um, I like, uh, there's certain topics I'd like to write about. Like last year, I was trying to write about uh, my views on the autistic puzzle piece, and I'd like to finish that. And basically, I want to look at uh, the uh, contra compare and contrast between uh, Dr. Hans Osberger's versus Lee O'Connor. And then I'd like to look at the work by uh, Steve Silberman because uh, he's really interested in neurodiversity tribes. So in the meantime, be sure to check out what I have now. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to share my blogs or my, my written blogs and hit the subscribe button. that uh, saw me out here and he wasn't even an um, employer or a store manager of this uh, convenience store slash gas station. He had the gall to ask me what I'm looking for and I said nothing, I'm fine. And I just kept on walking. Uh, this happened while I was in the middle of uh, shooting footage for this vlog. But anyway, what am I doing today? So uh, I am headed up downtown on campus to do my uh, traditional studying and then uh, post new content uh, on Sunday. So I usually like to put uh, one or two videos up for Sunday and one and two videos up Monday. And uh, 
what I, but first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a place and grab myself some lunch and uh, probably get started. Uh, campus has a bunch of restaurants and I know that a lot of them are closed on Sunday. I'm aiming for Dunkin' Donuts and they have uh, breakfast style food. Um, other food I'm looking at trying, I mean, I guess I, actually I know where I could go. Um, I think I might just try going to the CNN Center uh, because um, they have lots of places that are open there. Uh, they have Arby's, which is one of my favorite places to grab food. Uh, I might go there and get a salad or I might go to uh, grab me some stir fry. Whatever it is uh, my taste buds are craving, wherever it takes me. even though I would like to do more day in the life vlogs because again, um, how in the world am I ever going to get done uh, with this education piece? And then I have other things I have to do, like, you know, I have to do my taxes and there are some other things that I have to get done. And uh, this is my time, but part of being an adult means that you have to pay your bills, you have to, um, take care of things like clean your house, whatever. Um, and yes, I wouldn't mind shooting a vlog in time lapse of me cleaning my house, which I think would be a lot of fun. Uh, yes, am I still gonna vlog and put content every Sunday and Monday? Yes, but I might have to do just one or two a week with uh, really long videos, like, or maybe shoot vlogs during the week and then when I get a chance, uh, sit down, put them together, and then have them set to the side for Sunday and Monday. Um, but if it gets to be too much, I'm gonna have to uh, switch more to a daily vlog type of a thing and put them on daily because they're just getting to be too much. And uh, again, 
YouTube is a part of my life, and um, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a vlogger, but I have a normal life too. So if I don't always put media content up, or if I don't always put written blogs on WordPress, that means that I have other things going on in my life, so uh, be sure to bear with me. I'm finally out of that madhouse, uh, but as I said, there are a bunch of uh, cheerleaders who are uh, competing this weekend, and uh, not only was the train really loud, but uh, it was very overwhelming, and I was going to go to the CNN Center, but it, they were going the same direction, so I figured that uh, they would be overpacked and I would hear a bunch of loud, obnoxious teenagers, young teenagers, like 13, 14, not like uh, the mature high school cheerleaders, but the really young ones. And they would probably have all that same mindless chatter that was driving me crazy. The other part that was frustrating is that I forgot my headphones, so. I couldn't really tune out the noise, and so um, I just opted to do something here at Peachtree Center, and I don't know, again, I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but I'll figure it out. I decided on this place, and then this place behind me. autism and what my life is like, day in the life. So this is basically what I'm eating. Of course I'm doing one side, the sesame chicken, but everything else is, um, is not fried. Mmm, mmm, good. It was either the two meat and the sides, or sushi and two sides, but I decided on this today. At the moment, they are renovating Peachtree Center uh, Mall. They want it to look more modern and perhaps compete with all uh, the really upscale places that we have in Atlanta. Like uh, we have North Point in the Alpharetta area. And then uh, not too far from here is a mall called um, Lenox Square Mall. And uh, that place is incredibly fancy and they have all the big stores like the Gap and Apple and everything else. I mean, I don't know if they're going to uh, have any retail space for Apple here, but it would be nice uh, being that uh, there are these uh, fancy hotels like the Marriott and uh, the Hyatt, the West End, just blocks and blocks from each other or just right across the street whatever you want to call it. How are you doing today? Good. There we go. Thank you much. Bye. 
strawberry dipped blizzard at DQ because it was a little bit out of my budget. And these are so good. Earlier today when I was having lunch, uh, I was texting my friend because he texted me first about some things. And he said that he couldn't talk long because he was in a basketball game. And I said, that's okay because I'm, I'm having lunch and uh, shooting a block. Last night, I just uh, binge watched several episodes of Casey Neistat after I finished uh, working on my vlogs. And I think my favorite one was when he went to uh, uh, Columbia. <laughs> or uh, that was kind of a cool episode. And then the uh, the one where he went to Finland. That was episode two. Felt like I was right there with them. <laughs> 